know something that just occurred to me is I'm a little late on the video. I'm a little late. There's a video I didn't put out. Let's see if I can adjust this here. There's a video I didn't put out, and that was my 100,000 mile review on Noelle and May here. And uh, so we're going to catch up on it now. So I'm about eh, 15,000 miles over. So let's touch on it. Uh, 15,000 miles over, 100,000 miles. So roughly 115,000 miles is what I put on the truck since I bought it uh, March of uh, 2017. It is now May of 2018. 115,000 miles. Uh, shit, this truck's still running like a top. Still running like a top. The only thing I got going on now is uh, I'm saving a little bit of funds for me some new drives. So that's going to be in the near future. Give me some drives. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and replace the shocks uh, again and uh, take it up to my guy, Mr. Chad, home up in Kansas City and have him do a just check out the alignment, make sure everything, everything's good. I don't want to go drop $3,500 on some rubber and everything not be good. But anyway, man, the truck's still doing fine. And with addition, I did do some diesel tuning. Told W9 here. And uh, since doing that, uh, man, I can't complain. The truck's doing phenomenal. Engine heat stays low. Fuel economy is, well, it's pretty damn good considering flat top W9 with a drive in. Um, I'll say, I'll say show you right here. Might as well go ahead and brag. Let's see if you can see this. Let me raise this up. Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that? If you can't see it, it's right down here. I think you, I think you can see it. Yeah. 7.1, 7.1. Uh, got a little bit of wind today. A little bit. Down here on the Interstate 10. Let's see what little bit of wind it's not too bad we did do some diesel tuning I do have a 7 LPG and up W9 flat top uh, that was my goal when I got this old girl and we achieved it and I think I'm gonna do it a little better when I get some new rubber because right now I got 24 5 tall and I'm gonna switch to 24 5 low pro that's gonna help out it's gonna shorten the, the RPM a little bit or raise it but it's going to help a little bit on the uh, initial pull, like it's great I'm on now. You know, it's it's dragging me down a little bit. So I think the 24 5 low pro will help out a little bit on the fuel economy. But yep, yeah, LMA has been doing that deal, doing that deal. 115,000 miles in, and uh, <laughs> she runs like a top. She's not been costing me no money other than the truck wash I got yesterday. They got me for about $115. Truck, trailer, rain X, undercarriage, engine, tire dressing. You know, I got the works for about $115 bucks down, in, down at the Beacon in Bay, Texas. Let me tell you, man, that's, that's I'm really impressed with the Bay City, uh, Texas Beacon. Those guys, I shit you not. I pulled up, told them what I wanted, went in to pay and got to talking to the girl in there uh, about another truck that was in there with a uh, with a helicopter. So. Yeah, see that helicopter right there? That's uh, it's in route en route going to Phoenix. I think somewhere in Arizona, maybe Phoenix. They're going to restore it and put it in a museum because it was a presidential helicopter during the Ford Nixon Reagan era, or Ford Nixon Carter era. So that's a ex-presidential uh, Marine One right there. So I, anyway, I was, in, I was inside to talk to that girl about that. Uh, within 15 minutes, dude uh, named Christian, he came out and said, hey, he said, hey, hey, homie, we got you ready, man. You ready to go? I looked at him. I said, seriously? I said, dude, y'all ain't had that truck in there long enough to have even done a halfway decent job. He said, no, nah, we're good, man. You ready to roll. I walked out there looked at the truck. I thought he was messing with me. Within 15 minutes, man, I was rolling. I said, shit. Hands down, man, that is the quickest truck stop or truck wash that I've ever 
I went to. And let me tell you, LMA was dirty, man. LMA was dirty. I ain't had a wash in, uh, well, since Matt's. And uh, it's been a month and a half, you know. I ain't had a wash since then. She was dirty. And 15 minutes in and out. She's, she's dirty. She dirty, dirty, dirty. Anyway, Bay City area, or Bay City, Texas, Beacon, right there, uh, right there at the TA. Damn good truck wash. Anyway, back to the truck, man. Uh, as you can see there, I finally got around to uh, put my hood mount or hood ornament on. I got the flying lady up and rolling, and uh, I've done that over the weekend. I was doing a reset out there in Bay City, and uh, I climbed up in the hood and mounted her up. Anyway, she's flying pretty. And uh, shit, now we're just on our way over here into Florida. We gonna go over here to Florida. I got I got me some loads booked up. Oh shit, these bumps. Got me some loads booked up for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday already. So I figured I'd hold off. <laughs> I got to Wednesday. I figured I'd hold off on booking something and at least till Monday. But uh, I thought, man, I'm, I'm about to book my whole damn week up for it. The week even gets here. But we all booked up. We're just heading on over here and uh, see if I can get it all done. Anyways, guys, I just want to come at you with a quick little clip. 115,000 115, mile review. On Ellie May, uh, she's roughly 20, 21,000 miles since I've done some diesel tuning. And as you see, the fuel economy has tripped up. If you didn't see it a minute ago, I'm going to show you again because I'm doing what they say couldn't be done. Let's see if I can close you in there. All right, y'all see that? Y'all see that? 7.1 miles to the gallon. I'm cruising about 65 miles an hour. And if you just got to know what's in the box. I got about 20,000 in the box, not that heavy. Uh, but still, flat top W9, and I have reached sevens. Um, I had a tailwind a couple weeks ago and had like 800 and something miles on the tank at 7.4 before it dropped down to 7.3. But anyway, 7.0 mile per gallon W9, flat top. Anyways, guys, catch you in that next video. See you, bye.